Hi everyone, today we're going to be using the Swap Game Nodon to switch games between Space Adventure and Space Adventure 2 here. We're also going to be looking at how we can pass a value from one game to another. Once we go through the hoop, what we want to do is transfer to the second game. We'll start in the first game that you want to move on from. Add the swap game node on. The best way to familiarize yourself with a node on is to open up the settings and go into the Nodepedia. You can read here that when a value other than zero is received, the current game will end and another one will start. When the new game starts, the received signal will be sent through. So the output is our swap value. Your swap type can be keyword or back to previous, which makes it easier to go back to an old game. We're going to be using a swap keyword and a game keyword. You can also pick the transition type. In this case, our swap target keyword is going to be space2 and our game keyword is going to be space1. This doesn't have to match the game title. It only has to match what the other swap node on has as its value. Our input is going to be this touch sensor that we have around the hoop. We've done the first half. Now we need to go into the second game. We'll add a corresponding swap game node on and this time we'll change the game keyword to space2. That was the swap target keyword in the first game. It's actually as easy as that. They're now connected. The way that the swap game node on works is it searches the games in your downloaded list for these keywords. So if you're playing a game that you downloaded online, make sure to download all of the games in the series so that your swap game node on works properly. Now when we fly through the hoop, we'll seamlessly transition to Space Adventure 2. The problem is, we didn't pass through our score, and we want to keep track of that between games. There's a very easy way to do this. The value that the swap game node on gets into its input is the value that it passes over. The value of our touch sensor will be 1 when we touch it. So we simply want to multiply it by whatever value we want to transfer. In this case, we have a counter node on that's holding the score. We would multiply them together and put them into the swap game node on. You have to do a little bit of work in the second game also. You'll drag the swap node on output into whatever logic you have in game 2 to hold your score or score values. In this case we're using a number object. We're starting in game 1 with score 13. When we transfer over, so does our score. 